What's up everybody? It's Colton here. Uh, been a long time since I posted a video. Honestly, wanted to take a little break from, from uh, the upload in and then um, sort of made another little life decision that has slowed down my progress uh, and commitment to the YouTubes. But um, just figured I'd show y'all. Um, this is Coda. I adopted him a little over a week ago. And uh, yeah, it's been very difficult. Um, He's very afraid of things, doesn't like to walk outside. Um, any little noise scares him, but um, from the, the, the day I, I went to the shelter and, and looked at adopting him, I, I wasn't planning on adopting anything that day, I just wanted to look. Um, and as I was leaving, I was on my way out, I noticed I missed a little, little spot in the uh, shelter. And... <laughs> And I saw this guy, and I just think he is the coolest looking dog. I love his his fur underneath, and um, yeah, so I noticed how scared he was. He was struggling in his little tiny cage, so I asked to take him outside. I spent probably an hour with him outside, and it probably took 40 minutes for him to come up and like actually say hello to me, uh, lick my fingers. I never got to pet him, but just, I don't know, something new that I, I needed to get him, and uh, so yeah. It's come a long way from not letting me be able to pet him to this. And um, I think I really wanna go ahead and show you guys part of my diecast collection. I know it's not much and it's not gonna, you know, blow anybody away because I, I literally don't have much and I'm just starting to get back into collecting again, but I figured I would show y'all um, some of the things I have and uh, hopefully start uploading again soon. I might have to wait till, uh, I might just end up waiting until the 2020 DLC comes out and then start with career mode again. Um, because right now I, I wouldn't have enough time to get it finished, especially uh, all the time I'm putting in with this guy, because he is afraid of everything and takes a lot of time and commitment. But yeah, so this is Coda, and uh, I've just rolled this video in one take, so <laughs> let's see where this goes. Okay, so here we are in my bedroom. Um, I have this little shelf here that uh, has all of my all of my stuff. Um, all my good stuff. Then I have a box under my bed that has some of my childhood ones that I'll take out and I can show you. There's nothing um, too crazy. I think I got some like older cars in there um, and they're all beaten up because I used to play with them when I was a kid. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and flip this camera around, which I think I can do. No, okay. I gotta switch to a new. Um, video. Okay, so I'll start with the top shelf. Um, got a couple, couple of magnets up there. Uh, Kyle Larson's Vegas Strong. Where's my finger at? Larson's Vegas Strong, then the Ally um, camo scheme. Got the old Jimmy Johnson rig here. Uh, one of the cheaper uh, 24 size Lowe's Chevrolets. And then my Johnson cars are all right here. Uh, SpongeBob edition. I, I like it. I'm just, I'm literally just showing you guys these. And then it's basically it. I don't really have all the knowledge on, on them. But these three, um, I obviously got um, this year. Got the throwback Darlington. His uh, 2019 paint scheme. And then I don't even remember the track that he raced this one at. But this is the one where in career mode I could never get wins on. Um, and this one's just at Walmart. So if you go to Walmart, you can get some good steals here. One thing you know is like, I don't know if that's a misprint. But on the the rims, there's the red ink. I think it's just a misprint. I'm not sure. But um, these these two are the uh, are from Lino. I, I ordered I ordered, ordered a throwback as soon as I saw it. And I'm also waiting on the Chase Elliott uh, Roval scheme win. Going over here, also this is another Walmart find. Um, Kyle Larson's Vega Strong, um, DC Solar Car. Got um, two <laughs> Ward Burton cars back here. And I just recently started getting into these like 187 size ones. Um, if you go to Target, they have little packs that you can buy, or little um, random packs that you can buy where you get one of them for like two bucks. And you don't know which one it's gonna be. You open it, it's a new one every time. And then they have two packs. So I think I got this at Walmart. So I got two junior ones here. I think it was like five bucks. And uh, Stenhouse, Corey LaJoy, going back down to Ryan Blaney and Daniel Suarez. So I don't know, I think they're pretty neat, pretty cool. Um, next aisle is gonna be strictly Jeff Gordon, who was my favorite driver growing up. Um, got the Lego flame scheme right here. Uh, I remember building that when I was a kid with my dad. Um, I'm just gonna pan through them here. Don't remember the exact races they were used for. Um, this one's a like a cheaper version of the 124. Then you get into some of the nicer ones where the hoods actually open up and stuff. 
Um, this one I actually got on the Facebook Marketplace for like five bucks. Um, this one and another one. Um, it was ten dollars for the two of them. I'll show you when we we get to it. Um, and then I believe this one was ran in the two thousand two Daytona five hundred. Um, Star Wars scheme. I got the front of his hauler. I don't know what happened to the back of it. And then an unopened um, 2000 paint scheme. Yeah, still unopened in the package. Then we'll go to the 64s. I'll just paint across here. Yeah, but all of these were played with when I was a kid and they're actually, actually in surprisingly pretty good shape. And we'll go down to the next shelf. This is mainly my Chase Elliott shelf because he's my current favorite driver. Um, as you'll see here, I do have his autograph. Um, it was actually in Richmond. My girlfriend went and surprised me. He was doing a signing and she got him to sign the address to me, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I do have his hollow right here, but right now it's being blocked by three decals, which I, I plan on moving. And we'll start with the 164s. He's got his general scheme there. Um, his, what? What was this? This is his Dover 2018 win right there. Um, I got one of his Mountain Dew paint schemes. And then this one, I think it was Talladega of last year. That, uh, that one, it's cool. It's got like the, uh, the race twin. So you got the black tape on it. Um, and before I go, I'll go to the 124. This is the only 124 I have of him. Um, I actually got this when I was in Charlotte. They have a Lionel store at the mall. And then, uh, yeah, because like, I'm waiting on the Roval win. Um, that's the 124 scheme. This one I, is actually from the Talladega race I went to. My buddy was working the event and was able just to give me one for free. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, then we got my Dale Earnhardt's here, just just two. Um, this one was actually, the, the 124 was included in that Jeff Gordon one I got. So it was literally five bucks. So don't think the people that sold it to me knew anything about NASCAR. So it was a steal. And this one I obviously played with when I was a kid. Um, in the back, this is also from the Talladega race. It is signed by, on the right, Matt Benedetto, my uh, current second favorite driver. And then Barstool Prez and Frankie from Barstool. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and I don't know what I got up here. I got uh, Jeff Gordon bobblehead, uh, autographed baseball from the Pittsburgh Pirates. They're my favorite team. Um, another bobblehead from Pirates. Um, one of these things from The Office. The Office is my favorite show. And then a uh, shaker cup signed by Jay Cutler, who's a famous bodybuilder. Um, down under here, it's got like the program from the NASCAR race. Nothing too crazy. Um, and I guess I'll crack open my box real quick of all the other things. All right, so this is some of what I had when I was a kid. I think I actually, when I was a kid, I probably had like triple, quadruple this amount. Ooh, actually, I didn't realize I had a Byron car. Okay, I'm going to add this William Byron car up to my shelf because I like to keep the more modern cars up there. Um, nothing too crazy in here. I remember actually this one, this Mark Martin Batman car, which I'm actually probably going to throw that up on my shelf as well. I bought that at Watkins Glen back whatever year. I don't, I don't know. It was one of the years or I don't know how many times he actually won, but Tony Stewart won. Um, at the time, I hated Tony Stewart, but now I've just I've come to love Tony Stewart. That, when I was a kid, I just didn't realize how good he was for the sport and his competitive nature and his mindset um it's just amazing and if you guys haven't saw he's coming out with a sprint car game which releases i think in like two weeks um i think idk player posted a video about it today so go ahead and check that out um speaking of tony stewart there's a his home depot scheme um terry labani there <laughs> dale Earnhardt jr one but it's the non-alcoholic version because you know i was a kid casey kane elliot sadler um, there you go. The man, Matt Kenseth. Got Denny Hamlin here. Bobby Labani. Um, Robbie Gordon. Man, this is trying to real quick. I don't remember half these cars. There's an old Kurt Busch. Uh, don't know. But yeah, so, I don't know. You can pretty much see, see all of them in here. Um, I haven't really been paying too much to the camera, so I apologize if this has been a little bit... Oh, I don't know who this is. Is that Ricky Rudd? Or... It says Rudd on it. I just don't know. I don't know. Is there another Rudd brother? I'm not sure. But yeah, so I'll throw this on there on, uh, on the YouTube just to give you guys an update about where I've been. I don't plan on ever not posting anymore. It's just been uh, 
January was a really tough month and then I made the decision to get Coda and it's been very, very busy. But um, I don't know if you guys can see me, but that's gonna be uh, all for this video. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw it up real quick. I uh, don't know how long it's gonna take to render because it's coming from my phone. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or wanna see any anything else or how badly you want to see videos again or what i should do to kill time since i i can't get back on that that career mode i mean <laughs> you know how i am with arrivals and i just don't have the time to commit um commit to those um videos i really hope this isn't upside down but if this is upside down i apologize but real quick now that i'm seeing it these are those packs i was talking about that were at target so it just it shows you which ones you can possibly get um, I think this is when I got, this is when I got the Corey LaJoy one, but, uh, yeah, so that's it. We'll see y'all, y'all around.